Okay, welcome back to another Flask video. We're going to continue talking about some of the basics in Flask and eventually go ahead and create our web app, which is just a character counter app that we've also done in Angular. You can go check those out. These all should be in a playlist and also ASP.NET Core MVC. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any in the future. And I just started up a Patreon, which will be linked in the description below. There I will be doing monthly exclusive follow along projects with provided source code. So if you're interested in learning some more and want to help out the channel, I really do appreciate it. Feel free to check that out. But today we're talking about HTML templates in Flask, how we can serve those up, show off a bit of the Flask syntax within the HTML templates. If you saw the ASP.NET Core MVC videos, the syntax might look a little familiar because it allows us to do things like writing for loops and basically just running code in the HTML file as it renders. So let's go back to our project. In the last video, we talked about the redirect function and the URL for function. Let's get rid of some of these because really these routes were just to show off that. I'm just going to have the one single route, the slash. And something else I wanna do before we get started is I wanna pass in a parameter here. When we go to run the app, I wanna set debug equal to true. And if you hear my neighbor mowing, <laughs> that's what that sound is. It's not me on a single engine plane or anything. But when we ran the test function here, whenever we went to this route, it returned some HTML in the form of a string. Well, what if we want to just use an HTML file and not return a string of HTML? Because this is fine for maybe one H1 like we see here, but if we want to display like a whole HTML file with a bunch of different tags and stuff, this is going to get pretty cumbersome. So what we can do instead is use a function called render template. And what that function does is it looks for an HTML file and it renders it. And so we're going to do something right off the bat. We're going to create a new folder in our project here, and we're going to call this folder templates. And then inside of this templates folder, let's add an HTML file called index.html. And I'm just going to type HTML, go to this HTML5, hit tab, and it'll give us kind of like the scaffolding of an HTML document. The title, we're going to put this is a template, and then we can put other stuff down below. Uh, right off the bat, let's just put an H1 and say, hello from the template. Okay, so basically I want to render this index.html whenever we go to this route. So how do we go about calling this file will we use, like I mentioned before, that render template function. So instead of returning this, let's return render template, and we're going to get a yellow squiggly because we don't have that imported. So let's import that up top, render template, and then we pass in the name of the HTML file. And as long as it's in this templates directory, that's what it looks for. It looks inside the templates directory, and then it looks for the HTML file name that we pass in. So in our case, this is going to be index.html. And if we go to serve this pi main.py, and we go to localhost here, and I bring it over, we get hello from the template, and notice the title that we put, this is the template, is also being displayed. So we know that we are in fact in the index.html file. Now, what we can do, which is kind of cool, is pass in variables as well into this render template, and then reference those variables in the HTML. So right below our h1, let's put an h3. And inside of two squiggly braces, both open and closed, so two open and two closed, this is the syntax of referencing like a Python expression. So let's just reference the variable name, which hasn't been passed in yet, right? We didn't pass in a name variable yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Back in our render template function, if we say name is equal to, and let's just say Tim, yeah, that's fine. And it crashed because of an invalid syntax error. It just happened to try to restart when I was typing Tim. So let's serve this back up. Now, if we look, we see Tim because that was the name variable passed in and we rendered it with the syntax. Now, last thing I wanna show in this is what if we wanna do an if else statement inside this HTML, depending on what's passed in. Well, the syntax for that is a little bit different. Instead of curly brace, curly brace, it's going to be curly brace percent on both sides. And then here is the start of the if statement. So let's say if score is greater than 90, 
and this will not be in an h3 because that wouldn't make sense. Uh, so if score is greater than 90, let's display a paragraph that says you have passed. And then in the same syntax, the two curly braces and the two percentages, else let's put the paragraph you have failed. And then lastly, we have to after last else, we need to end the if statement. So same syntax, curly brace, percent, percent, and inside this end if one word. And then back in our main.py, we now have to pass in a score, right? Because if we're saying if score is greater than 90, we need to know what is the score. So instead of name, let's put score and let's give it a value of 85. So this will not be a passing score. And now if I refresh our page here, if you see right here, it says you have failed. That's because score is less than 90, so it showed this particular paragraph. And then just to prove it to you, if we change it to 95 and we reload it, we get the you have passed. Okay, so in the next video, we'll talk about how do we pass in uh, lists and dictionaries into our template, how do we use them, and stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you wanna go check out my Patreon, feel free to do so. We do some more in-depth videos with some source code where you can follow along and hopefully learn something useful. And thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in a future video.